God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. To those who, who are watching this service over the internet, good morning, hello, and good evening. In our church, we give a tithe offering to the work of God outside of this church. Now, let's give thanks to the Lord in prayer for the tithe offering of 92,000 300 yen from January 16 to 22nd. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for filling our needs of the church. We now give the tithe offering of 92,300 yen for your work outside of this church. Please use this for your glory. Uh, thank you for your uh, uh, provision. We have never lacked before. We know that you will continually fill our needs. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Good morning. Again, we we hold Hakuba's Nerugu camp from February 28th. Now, let's watch an introductive short movie about this camp.自分は偉くなると神様から与えられたものに関わらず
ありがとうございました。最中。ハクバスネルキャンプ。will be held from February 28th to March the second。anybody is welcome to participate。please come and join us。When we pray and when we are involved in God's work, there is a certain place where God especially works. And in, in other places, you receive spiritual attacks there. The other day, I, I prayed in one place. That was my favorite place to pray. And as soon as I started to pray there, the Lord showed me the theme of today's message. And He also gave me directions about what I should speak about, speak in the radio program. Usually, in, during Hakuba camp in Hakuba, God often speaks to me. And he gives me, uh, he speaks to me uh, uh, certain things. You will be blessed there in a special way. Please come and join us. The work for rev of revival is also closely related to this camp. And I'd like to encourage you to deal with things. Um, that uh, you need to uh, you need to be clear that you are going to receive what is the Lord's. Uh, please be sure that this camp is from the Lord, and you'll be blessed. And this camp will be used for a revival. And you be you be become witnesses in this age, as you will be involved in the work of this camp and and in the work of revival. Now let's watch another introductory short movie about thanks, praise, and revival camp in Los Angeles in March.
Praise and Revival Camp will be held from March 26th to March 31st in Los Angeles. You've been to Hakuba and you've been to, uh, excuse me, you have watched those videos very often, but I have watched them as ten times as more than you, because every holy meeting where I minister, we watch it. We watch them. An interesting thing has been happening, and that's there is uh, when I get to see those introductory videos more. Uh, I'm getting to learn things about things that I didn't recognize first. The Thanks, Praise, and Revival Camp 
uh, is headed for revival, as well as Hakuba's Nelga camp. And we know that, we believe that revival will take place, break out in Japan. But when we consider carefully, uh, we succeed from Pastor Marin Carothers, the spirit of thanks, praise, uh, the spirit of present thanks, and he's American, and and God spoke to, gave us a promise of his word for revival, Japanese revival in the United States, and we and the Lord leads us to have prayer sessions in Bonnie Bray House. This is the original place of Azusa Revival. All these things are connected to the U.S. So I now believe that God will break out in Japan, both in Japan and in the United States. When we recognize this, we are able to see the Thanks, Praise, and Revival camp in a different way. And Pastor Murray, when he was alive, he told us that God spoke to him that he should tell us that we, each of us is called to be used for, one, for the salvation of one million people. And when I heard that, I naturally took it that uh, we, God will use us uh, for uh, people in Japan, but now I think that Pastor Murray had in his mind about salvation of American people. Now I believe that uh, the Lord is going to uh, expand his work through us in the United States too, and both in, in the United States and in Japan. And this Thanks and Praise and Revival Camp is a core that God will use. And from this camp, the work of his revival will expand to the whole wide world. If you are stingy, uh, and you may, you may, you may be stingy, and you, you don't want to spend your money, to join this camp. But um, you need to pray to ask God if uh, it is His will for you to join this camp uh, with no consideration about your money or, uh, and your time. And if the Lord said that it is His will, then start praying and asking God for His provision. Uh, the first team to Europe, that was the team to Europe, including Patmos, and this outreach was a three week long. The reason why we went on this trip for so long was because we didn't think that we would uh, often go overseas. So if we had one trip, we thought we should uh, take time. We should spend more time. Uh, we should take, spend as more time as as more as more time as possible. And the Lord provided for all my all the needs for me and for my family to join this uh, first team to Europe, including Patmos. The Thanks Praise and Revival Camp is a point camp that God will use uh, for His work uh, in the world. We know that uh, uh, the great work of God, like like it happened in during the Azusa Revival in Los Angeles, that kind of work will again happen. I've been to the United States for so many times, and the Lord tells us that He will plant 100 churches through us in the United States. And of course, I took these things seriously, but now I'm now more convinced that the Lord is really serious about 
this work in the United States. So I will put more, uh, I will get to it more. And missionary Sally uh, has been using uh, the book on prophecy in Europe. And this is a fulfillment of a prophecy that the Lord had gave us, given us. The Lord had told us through that prophecy that he would use this book on prophecy overseas and expand his work through this book. And during Thanks Prison Revival Camp, we will have gospel showcase with Dr. Steve, but it's not our intention that we will help him evaluate the performance of our church bands. Uh, we believe that uh, we will make a hit song. A hit song will be born in the United States through us. You may think that I'm crazy, but if we want to achieve God's work, we need to be crazy. So if you join this camp and sing in the Gospel Showcase, uh, be prepared to sing an English song. Uh, prepare an English translation of our original J Gospel. Of course, there is an issue about the copyright. Uh, it's not that we will authorize your translation, but you can use that translation in the Gospel Showcase only. Now, let's watch one minute video. みなさんこんにちは。癒しについて聖書には書いてあるけど、今も癒しはあるの？と思われる方がおられるでしょうか。聖書に求めなさい。そうすれば与えられます。探しなさい。そうすれば見つかります。叩きなさい。そうすれば開かれます。とあるように、
in the flow of revival. Because of that, we can expect God to do much more mighty work. Last Wednesday, excuse me, last Friday, I went to Kamedo to hold a holy meeting. That was the East Tokyo uh, holy meeting. So when we hear the East Tokyo, uh, we think of a very big city. But anyway, I took a train to go to the place. I was able to be seated on the train. Uh, every time I take a train, I pray to God that I be able to be seated. And, and this time I prayed again, but I was, I got into a trouble. Uh, I took a train in Higashi, Nagano, but in Nagano station, which is be one station before, there was a molestation incident, the molestation case on the train, and the criminal case. Uh, the criminal was called, and because of that, the trains were delayed on in that train line. Because of that, the train that came to Higashi Nakano, uh, where I was waiting for the train, the train was packed with people, but I was able to be seated because there was only one seat, empty one seat, vacant seat, only one left on the train. Let's give thanks to God. Uh, I had never been successful to take a seat, to be seated, to have a seat in so packed a train. Uh, as for my going back home from the holy meeting, I, well, I, I was reminded of the last incident, of the last time that I went to the East Tokyo. Uh, on my way back home from the holy meeting, I hadn't been able to be seated on the train going back home. This time, Pastor Kasahara suggested that they should uh, give me a ride going back home. And I thought it was a good idea, but Pastor Casa and his fellows were planning to uh, shoot a movie in Abyss on their way back home. If they brought me back home before that, they would not have had it. they would not have enough time to shoot a movie in Abyss. That's why I hesitated to answer Pastor Kasahara, and I prayed to God what I should do. The Lord answered me that I am trying to be prepared for the worst. And I, I don't believe that the Lord is going to do the bad thing for me. So I uh, declined Pastor Kasahara's offer, and I took a train by myself. And the train was again packed with people, and but there was only one vacant seat on that train, and I started to head for the vacant seat. But another person 
came and took that seat before I did. And I thought, wow, and oh, I wouldn't be able to be seated, but then I fi found one more, one more vacant seat on, in different direction on the chain, and I was able to be seated. Last night, I watched the uh, gospel gathering uh, that was that was broadcast live online uh, from this place. And as I watched, as I was watching that, uh, some other videos were on my screen beside. And those videos were all about, all of them were about the East Japan Great Earthquake. I thought that God tried to speak to me about something that was, that there is, when uh, we, can, we can pray for, we pray to God for his help in the difficulties. And a disaster may come and happen to us, but we can be prepared in prayers. Another thing I was reminded of is I thought of what is there that happened to us several years ago when many people, they were deceived by Satan and they left our church. And a little time after that, uh, I and Pastor Mori and some other pastors were called by one man, uh, excuse me, uh, a group of men who had left our church, and we had a kind of meeting together, and they threatened us by a dagger, and they tried to, uh, they tried to, they tried to persuade us. They said something that we we were not guilty of. But they said that was her fault, and they even one one of the men they even took out a dagger and threatened me. I was so afraid, but I never gave in, and I was not injured. And I just and after this incident, I thought of suing them because they it was a criminal case. But in prayer, the Lord spoke to me that I should not sue them. I should just pray that they would repent. And so I was praying about that. Then recently, this man called me and he apologized to me. He said that he apologized about uh, trying to harm me by, the, by dagger. And he apologized that he uh, he slandered God's church, and he said he wanted to come back to us. Let's give thanks to God. Now, uh, let's go into the Bible. Uh, Psalm one hundred twenty-one. Uh, one hundred twenty-one, verse three. That says, he will not let, you, let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. God will not slumber, and he watches over you. Verse 7 says, the Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. From this verse, we learn that we be keep, we be kept from all harm and our lives will be watched over by God. Uh, in my Christian life, uh, I have been kept and protected by God so many times. For example, 
in Hokkaido during the winter. I was driving with Pastor Uchida. He was driving, and the Holy Spirit speak, spoke to me that a car accident would happen. So I, I immediately started to pray. But uh, we were driving with other two cars behind us, with Pastor Teru's car and with and the third car was with us too. And then, anyway, we were driving, but suddenly a deer appeared in front of us in the highway, and we bumped into the deer, and the deer, uh, the deer, uh, it flew in the sky when we bumped into her and we stopped but there was no accident and none of us were injured only our car pastor uchi peter's car uh, was destroyed the front of his car was destroyed but he was able to uh, get a new one free And the Lord speaks to us about His grace in this passage, but not all Christians are kept by God. Some Christians, uh, they are kept and protected by God, but other Christians, they should have God's protection with them, but they really don't experience it. That's different from what's written here in the Bible. Why? Uh, we we can get the answer in the book of uh, Chronicles. The book of Chronicles, excuse me, the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 1 says, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands, verse 2 says, All these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. So uh, this says, uh, All the blessings that are written in Psalm 121 will happen to you when we obey God. But when we don't obey God, we will not be blessed in that way. Uh, apparently, uh, our obedience is a condition. And then what will happen to us when we don't obey God? Verse 15 says, However, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow all his commands, and decrees, mm. uh, followings, uh, what will happen to you? So, so it makes a different. It makes different when you we obey God and when we don't obey God. God will never slander. He will watch over us when we obey God. The point is our obedience. Uh, when we don't obey God, it's not that I'm saying, I'm not saying that bad things will happen to you, but the Bible said that when we don't obey God, uh, we will not be blessed with those promises of God that are written in the Bible. You are obeying, but you are getting tired because you haven't prayed enough. Pray more. Especially, you need to pray in the early morning prayer meeting, uh, early morning devotion. You have problems, uh, but you have uh, solutions. Your solutions lie in the scriptures. Look for the scriptures. The Lord is telling you to step out, step forward. And you've been think wondering about this, but when you go forward, God will bless you. Now, let's uh, 
pray for healing. And for that, let's repent in our hearts. And let's, for, let's, let's pray for healing in our hearts. Dear Heavenly Father, pray, I pray that you will heal us. I pray and command the sicknesses to leave us. I command our bodies to be healed. In the name of Jesus, I command God's healing. You have uh, something is wrong with your nodes and headache and uh, shoulders ache and you are healed. In the name of Jesus, I declare God's healing. In the name of Jesus, amen. は主イエスキリストの皆に繋がりたい。それでは、皆さん、ご一緒に。ご一緒に。ご一緒に。ご一緒に。ご一緒に。ご一緒に。ご一緒に。ご一緒に。ご一緒に。ご一緒に。ご